Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Darius, the Hand of Noxus. Darius is a melee fighter who sticks to targets, drops their health pools with bleeds, and finally executes them for a kill. If you like getting into the thick of it and being a major source of pain, take a spin with Darius. Darius's passive is Hemorrhage. Darius's basic attacks and damaging abilities apply stacks of Hemorrhage up to a cap. Hemorrhaging enemies bleed, taking damage over time for each stack. Additionally, Darius gains bonus movement speed for every bleeding enemy champion. Decimate swings Darius's axe around in a circle, damaging all nearby enemies. Enemy champions on the outside ring of the ability are struck by the blade of the axe and take additional damage. As his primary damage tool, I take Decimate at level 1 and max it right away. Crippling Strike causes Darius's next basic attack to deal bonus damage and slow his target. Crippling Strike cools down faster for every hemorrhage stack on his target. For increased damage and crowd control, I take a point in Crippling Strike early and max it by level 13. Apprehend passively gives Darius bonus armor penetration. When activated, he pulls in all enemies in front of him. Primary a utility ability, I take one point in Apprehend early, but max it last by level 18. Darius's ultimate is Noxian Guillotine. When activated, Darius leaps to target enemy champion, dealing extreme damage. Noxian Guillotine deals bonus damage based on how many hemorrhage stacks are on his target. Additionally, if Noxian Guillotine deals the killing blow, the ability's cooldown is immediately refreshed. Early laning depends on the matchup. Against melee champions like Singed, establish your role as a bully. Hit Decimate for bonus damage and look to add hemorrhage stacks whenever possible. Try to stand between the minions and the enemy champion, denying him last hits and gold. If enemy champions are ever pushed to your own turret, minion damage reduction masteries will let you tank them and prevent the turret from stealing your gold. Once your minion wave finally arrives, let them tank it and last hit as normal. You'll also want to watch for ganks with an early sight ward, placing it either in the river or this brush here. If you want to harass the enemy in lane, pull them in with apprehend, land a basic attack, immediately hit crippling strike to hit them again, and finally use decimate. Alternatively, leading with decimate into a basic attack followed by crippling strike also deals plenty of damage in a short time. When a teammate comes to gank, save apprehend until they attempt to run. I open on Fiddlesticks with Decimate into a basic attack and Crippling Strike. Only once Fiddlesticks starts to escape do I pull him back in with Apprehend, picking up a quick kill. Darius is most potent right after Decimate hits rank 5, so look for any nearby fights once you hit level 9. As I see Twisted Fate attempt to run, I Apprehend into a Decimate attack Crippling Strike combo. I keep pace and pick up the kill, running from Crowstorm until it ends. Then, I make sure to focus the squishiest target, Fiddlesticks. My standard combo gets him extremely low, and I pick up the kill with Noxie and Guillotine. I switch to Singed, hitting Decimate and Crippling Strike for bonus damage and slow. I hit Ghost and land as many attacks as possible, continuing to chase him down until he finally dies to Hemorrhage. Darius excels at isolating and taking down squishy targets alone. As soon as I can, I pull Twisted Fate with Apprehend. I land Decimate and hit Crippling Strike as soon as possible. I move in between attacks, and after one more Decimate, take him out with Noxian Guillotine. It's important to realize that every block of health on a champion's health bar represents 100 health. This will let you estimate if a champion is low enough to execute without clicking on them and reading their current health otherwise. Darius is not a true tank and should not be the first one into the fight. Once your enemies are distracted, you can easily kill everyone. I aim first for Fiddlesticks. I'm able to place 5 stacks of Hemorrhage on very quickly, following up with a Decimate into an easy kill with Noxie and Guillotine. I then head over toward the mid lane, finding Blitzcrank and Twisted Fate. I make sure to Decimate on both of them to gain a larger movement speed buff, executing Twisted Fate and moving immediately to Blitzcrank. I slow with Crippling Strike and kill with Noxie and Guillotine once it gets low enough. Apprehend can also be used in a support sense to save allies. Here Singed is chasing down Ash, so I get behind him, pull him back with Apprehend, and land Crippling Strike as soon as possible, giving us the kill on Singed and keeping Ash alive. 
I recommend building Darius with a mix of physical damage, durability, and sticking power through movement speed and slows. For runes, take flat attack damage marks, flat armor seals, magic resist per level glyphs, and movement speed quintessences. For masteries, take 9210, taking armor penetration in offense, plus all the durability and minion damage reduction in defense. For summoner spells, take Ignite and Ghost in order to destroy and stick to your targets. Open with boots of speed or cloth armor and health potions. Rush Philosopher's Stone, add a Doran's Blade, and take Mercury Treads or Ninja Tabby as needed. Add in Phage, Aegis of the Legion, and Hex Drinker for mid-game items. Build up towards Shirelia's Reverie, Frozen Mallet, Maw of Malmordius, and Randuin's Omen. In Dominion, open with Prospector's Blade, Boots of Speed, and two health potions. Take Ninja Tabby or Mercury Treads depending on your needs, and build Phage plus Hex Drinker for mid-game. Add in late-game durability and damage through Shirelia's Reverie, Randuin's Omen, Frozen Mallet, and Maw of Malmordius. Thanks for tuning in to the Darius Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above, and don't forget to thumbs us up just below the video.